What's up, lovers of whiskey and watchers of YouTube? I am the Malt Activist, and you know that because of this. That's right, if I wasn't wearing this t-shirt, you wouldn't have recognized me because I have been sporting this stash. That's right. This stash is for men's health, and ideally, I should have gotten rid of it in November, but then I realized, no, men's health is a year-long issue, and it can't be confined to just the one month of November and so hence I am keeping this stash for now. That's my first reason. My second reason is people will be like, holy shit, you look weird without your mustache. So now I'm stuck in a between a rock and a, and a hairy place, if you know what I mean. All right. <laughs> I'm sure that's why you tuned in to, to hear my views on men's health and, and this worm on my upper lip. But no, I know why you've tuned in. You've tuned in because I'm about to lay down some wisdom. That's right. Now, in my last video, I counted out my top five cost strength whiskeys. Money being no object. So I laid down my top five. There were a few that I could have included. I Maybe I missed. I don't know. But that was a pretty good top five. But then in that video, I promised, I said, I am going to now get you your top five cost strength whiskeys for 50 pounds or less. But as it turned out, that was the hardest exercise I have ever done in my life. It's crazy. I, you know what I thought? I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to filter. I'm just going to go through to the, the top three or four online retailers, whiskey retailers in, in Europe, and I'm going to just do a search uh, and, uh, and filter down by cost strength whiskeys, and, uh, uh, but they all have to be 50 pounds or less. And I had a, bit, and I had a few, few criteria, right? Number one, it had to be a 70 CL bottle, because hey man, we need to pay full fare and get the full stuff. Uh, it had to be a cost strength of at least 51% or up, Okay, um, it had to be an original bottling. That was very, very important. It had to come from the distillery because there's a lot of uh, independent bottles flying around that you can get uh, at a fairly decent price uh, at a very high strength, but uh, that was not my criteria. And finally, and lastly, and the most important criteria of all was that I should have tasted it. That's right, legitimacy. That's what I'm talking about. How can I recommend you something if I haven't drunk it myself? So these were my criteria for selecting my five whiskeys. Now, as it turns out, when I went and I checked up, you know, different uh, uh, prices uh, on these high strength whiskeys, I was shocked. There are barely, barely any whiskeys at cost strength or near cost strength or at a very high strength or at a high strength for 50 pounds or less. The world is a crazy place. It's, it's not fair that we have to search so far and so wide to just find high strength whiskeys that we can get at an affordable price. It's crazy. But since I had promised, I have a list and I think it's a good list. So if you like high strength whiskeys and if you like to save money, and if you like taking advice from strangers on the internet, then this video is for you because these are my top five cost strength whiskeys for 50 pounds or less. The absolute first whiskey on my list is a special release from Diageo who piggybacked on the popularity of the special HBO show called Game of Thrones. If you don't know what Game of Thrones is, man, what rock have you been living under? So this is what happened. Diageo said, we have to find a way to market our whiskeys other than giving them flowery names and, uh, and, uh, and descriptions from the marketing department. So what do we do? Hey, what's, what's trending right now? Oh, this Game of Thrones business, that's trending. What should, what should we do? Let's, let's, let's buy the naming rights and release eight or nine different whiskeys under each house and then sell them to unsuspecting victims. Now, of course, I'm being a bit harsh. Uh, there were some good whiskeys in, uh, in, uh, uh, in that release and some, frankly, not that good. 
However, I have a particular affinity to Klein Leash, and I love those flavors, and I love that flavor profile. So, the House Tyrell, that's what the Klein Leash came under. It was a non-A statement whiskey. Boo-hoo, and shame on you, Diageo. Another NAS whiskey. It's okay. But it was bottled at 51.2% ABV. Uh-huh. Didn't, by the way, I'm not 100% sure if it mentioned that it was cost strength. I'm going to assume it was cost strength because 51.2 is a very weird ABV to water your whiskey down too. So, anyway, having said all that, I got my hands on the... Um, of the Klein Leash, which was uh, which is part of the House Terrell uh, banner, and it was bottled at 51.2%. And it is probably my least favorite of all the whiskeys on this list, but it's still a very decent dram. And the important thing is, it is available for roughly 43 pounds, which is a good price for a high strength whiskey uh, like, like Klein Leash. So there might be people who want to split hairs and be like, oh, it's not as good as the other Klein Leash. Yes, no, it's not. And they're absolutely right. However, it's still a very decent dram. It can hold its own. I have some tasting notes here. Oh, the signature waxiness. It's quite sweet. Toffee apples, gummy bears. That's right, gummy bears. Uh, candy, dried papaya, lots of cereal notes. Uh, and ultimately, a fairly light delivery uh, on the palate overall, but nonetheless, a decent, decent dram found at a decent, decent price of 43 pounds. So remember this, you know, uh, if, if, you, if you criticize this selection, I urge you to go out and find a whiskey that is, uh, you know, 51% ABV and up, tastes decent and under 50 pounds, you will not find it. And I'm not talking independence, right? I'm talking original body. So it is what it is. It's a sad state of affairs. Uh, and we will talk about that later in the video. video. However, my first whiskey on this list is the Klein Leash from the Diageo special release, the Game of Thrones series. Comes at 51.2% at, at ABV and at a nice 43 pounds. The second whiskey on our list is something that I'm quite fond of. It is a Ben Riach Smoke Season. If you haven't tried it, it's a wonderful, light, airy dram uh, from this uh, Space Side Giant that I really, really love. Uh, I, I first received a sample of it from the distillery to review it, and I think I have it somewhere in my archives. But then I went out and I found myself a full bottle because I genuinely, genuinely liked that whiskey uh, and it touched all the right points for me. It comes in at 52.8% cask strength and retails for an even 50 pounds, which is not bad again. Yes, I know it's a non a statement. It's a NAS whiskey and durr, shame on you, Ben Riach, for doing that. Anyway, it's still not bad. And for 50 pound, even at 52.8% ABV is a fairly good deal, right? Uh, so it's uh, matured in first fill bourbon and virgin American oak, blended together and peated at 45 ppm. Uh, just as an example, uh, as a comparison, Odd bags are peated at about 40, 45 ppm as well. So expect similar levels of peat and smoke in that whiskey, of course, without the maritime salt and brininess that you'd expect from an Isla whiskey. The, uh, the space side peat is very heathery, quite sweet and quite floral, and frankly, uh, quite to my liking. And I like that. Uh, we have some tasting notes here. I have honey, campfire, very, very sweet. Uh, lots of oaky vanilla, toffee, candied orange, yes crushed peppercorn uh, pears with a drizzle of sweet lemon. So overall, a very, very nice, uh, uh, delicious uh, flavor profile. It's a very decent dram. Uh, I think it's better than the Klein Leash that we just uh, spoke about, the Game of Thrones series. Uh, this Ben React smoke season is, um, imagine all the, all the good, all the good space side flavors and now sprinkle a smoky dust on top of it. And that's what you get from this whiskey. So the Ben Riach Smoke Season, 52.8% ABV, available to you at roughly 50 pounds even. That's a good deal. 
this next whiskey on my list is probably my whiskey of the year. Don't, don't quote me on it. I will, I will release another video for that. But for now, this one is one of my favorites from uh, my 2021 find. And this is the Aaron Quartercask Bothy. And it comes in at a 56.2% ABV. And again, available for a very, very reasonable even 50 pounds. That's right. Now, uh, in my other video, and, I, and I've reviewed the, the quarter cask Bothy by Aran. Uh, in, uh, in my other video, I mentioned that I was, uh, I was in Switzerland and I just walked into a whiskey bar and I wanted to taste something that was uh, high strength from, uh, from Space Side, first with bourbon, and the guy pulled out the older bottling of the Aran QC. And I had it and I fell in love and I said, wow, this is amazing. And then um, for a tasting here with my whiskey club, I got the new bottles and then I sampled them and they were absolutely amazing. The Aaron Quarter Cost Pothy is a gorgeous, gorgeous dram uh, at an even 50% for 56.2% ABV. Oh, did I say 50%? No, I meant at an even 50 pounds. At an even 50 pounds, you get a skull cracking 56.2% ABV. Come on. You cannot, you cannot be upset about that. And flavors, <laughs> super solid flavors. Uh, oh, first, let me tell you, it's been matured in first, oh, for seven years, matured in first fill ex bourbon barrels and then finished in American oak quarter cask for another two years, making this whiskey nine years old. I know it doesn't say so on the label, but at least now you know you're getting a nine-year-old whiskey for 50 pounds at 56.2%. Man, this is close to being a perfect purchase if you're if you're into high strength and into saving money. And uh, oh, uh, the flavors on this, amazing. Uh, I have vanilla, cinnamon, uh, quite uh, peppery spices. There's honey, there's coconut, pineapple, and a final uh, gingery oak to it. Uh, rounding it off, a uh, wonderful flavor profile uh, from what I think is a wonderful distillery. And at a price point, woohoo! Come on, you cannot beat that, right? So here we have it the Aaron Quartercast Bothy, bottled at 56.2% ABV, available to you for an even 50 pounds. Come on. This next one, probably a bit of surprise uh, for you because it was a surprise to me as well. The Tomatin Cask Strength, bottled at 57.5%. Woo Come on, we're amping these flavors up. We're amping the ABV, but we're not compromising on price. And this is the reason I do these videos, right? And now I know, I'm like, oh my God, that is fantastic value for money. This whiskey is available to you for 50 pounds and even 50 pounds, but giving you 57.5% alcohol by volume. Man, that's, that's a whiskey and a half. If you think about it, right? You can just keep adding water to it and just, you get more and more whiskey. That's what I'm saying. You know how you add, you know how you add water in an empty shampoo bottle and you shake it up and you get more shampoo? Well, this is what you do with this whiskey. You keep adding water to it and you shake it up and you get more whiskey. And I know that's a terrible, terrible comparison, but it is what it is, man. The Tomatin, and I was recently introduced to it through a tasting with my whiskey club. And I honestly, I fell in love uh, with their core range of which this is a part of this cast strength series. And it's wonderful flavors. I have, oh, so it's a mix of bourbon and Oloroso sherry casks. And I think it's more bourbon uh, than sherry. I'm thinking 70, 30, but you know, the jury's out on that. I don't know the exact details but it's a mix of bourbon and Oloroso sherry casks. So flavor profile, I have honey, ginger, it's quite malty, marzipan, caramel, walnuts, chocolate, and overall sweet spices. So a lot of these flavors, they touch the hit the right spots uh, for me in terms of my whiskey, um, and whiskey profiles. And come on, man, cast strength, 57.5% ABV. Are you kidding me? Available for just 50 pounds? Man. You cannot say no to that. And the last, but definitely, definitely not the least, we have the Glen Farclaws 105, bottled at 60%. Are you kidding me? Bottled at 60%, and guess what? Available for an absolute steal, 48 pounds on average. Damn, son! 
This is what happens when you remain independent. Way to go, Glenn Farklas. Good job on the pricing for this. You've maintained your independence. You're not being pressurized by these big conglomerates to hike up prices regardless of how, uh, how popular the whiskey gets. And I appreciate that. Yes, I know this is a NAS whiskey. So also shame on you, but it is what it is. You know, come on, you're getting a 60% ABV whiskey for under 50 pounds, 48 pounds. I guess you can't go wrong with it. Yes, the older versions were better. The A statement cost 105s were better. Yes, however, given today's climate and, and the landscape of the whiskey industry, man, this is a steal. And you know what the cool thing is? This is natural cask strength. This is 60% natural cost strength. This, 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 is, this, is, uh, this is lovely cask management and, 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 uh, and expert blending to get you the right, uh, right ABV of spot on 60%. And this is a full on sherry bomb. This is matured 100% in Oloroso sherry casks. I have some tasting notes here. We have dark plums, we have cocoa, we have cinnamon, we have tobacco, we have leather cigar box oaks and overall woody spices a christmas dram if ever there was one so amazing amazing value for money 60 percent abv in this bottle is excellent it is maybe not as good as the older 10 year old cost strength uh, 105s but still compared to what we have out there and the price this is at it is still a smashing dram and to me probably uh, my best value for money whiskey in this list. Mm. Actually, no. You know what? I think my best value for money whiskey in this list uh, is going to be... Oh, we'll talk about that in the final thoughts. So, let me wrap up the Glenn Farr Class 105. So, the 105 bottle at 60% ABV available to you for 48 pounds. Damn, son, that's a good deal. And so there you have it, five cost strength whiskeys that you can buy for 50 pounds or less. I hope you can make something out of this uh, list. And hey, Christmas is coming up. These are good gifts to buy and good gifts, uh, you know, uh, for yourself. Of course, gift yourself sometimes. That's, that's really important. So uh, I was talking about my, uh, uh, my most value for money whiskey on this list. And I think it's the Aaron Quartercos Bothy, uh, which is uh, available for an even 50 pounds bottled at 56.2%. And the reason I think it's my best value for money whiskey, even though we have whiskeys that are at a higher percentage, slightly lower price is because of the overall flavors and the overall construction. And I think pound for pound from a quality control point of view, the Aaron Quartercos Bothy hits all the right spots. It is flavorful, it is delicious, great mouthfeel. It's a beautiful strength of 56.2%, available for 50 pounds. I don't think you can go wrong with that whiskey. However, if there's any one of these whiskeys that you on this list that you end up buying, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. And hey, what's the worst that'll happen? You would have uh, you would have put down 50 pounds uh, uh, to prove me wrong. Well, if that's the case, then that's the case, and there's nothing I can do about it. But I'm I'm fairly confident that if you buy any one of these whiskeys, you will not be disappointed. These are good whiskeys. They come in at a good price. They come in at a good ABV. They're available. I've tried them personally, and I think so should you. So there you have it. How was that? That was a great video. I enjoyed myself. Thank you for sticking around to the end. I am the Malta Activist. Until next time. Peace.